What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today, back with some more Pirate Rumble. And today, I have a different team for you guys that I was testing out in some single matches, and the team looked pretty cool. Now, I don't know how it's going to perform well in rival matches, but... I read some passives of certain characters and I saw some characters that had some pretty decent synergy and I think that this team, I think once it's leveled up would be really good. Do I suggest leveling some of these characters up? Probably not. You guys can already see the team on the layout, but let me go ahead and show you guys really quick and we'll go through it uh, briefly with uh, some in-depth analysis. But the main thing that I was reading was Marco and also V2 Kuzan. Now, I do think that V1 Kuzan is still substantially better, but just his passive at level one, remember, we're looking at level one things here. Um, and that's the thing until we get more more scrolls is that level one characters are going to be Kind of like what you have to be looking for. You know, you shouldn't be reading the max stats of a character because that's You know, that's what you're aiming for, but it's not something that you're going to have for a very long time But uh, this marker right here has a very very interesting passive So it says if your health if his health is above 50% quick and side characters will get guard percent up level three and then he himself will always have level 6 attack up. That's pretty pretty good, honestly. And then his special at a 23 charge time, which is relatively low. It targets enemies in a medium range for half of his damage, or half of his attack as damage. And then it also will go ahead and apply level 2 attack down to them. And then he heals himself by 1.65 times his recovery. So he's consistently healing himself back up, dealing damage, reducing their attack. It's a pretty interesting style uh, special and build this character aims to do. Now, Frankie is also really nice here because with his special ability he provides a health cut and then can also grant our character some defense which is nice and then his passive provides HP up so it makes us a little more tankier. Now V2 Kruzan, his level 1 passive gives quick and side characters level 2 speed and level 3 defense. That's a very good level 1 passive and it's when it's maxed out it's level 6 speed and level 3 defense. So already at level 1 it's very good. Now, characters I wanted to add on top of this, I, I wanted to make sure that I still run characters that I have actually leveled up. So I felt like Kuzan and, oh, Kuzan, Kizaru actually was a good fit because he boosts uh, slashes and shooters, uh, and he's got a really good special that charges up very quickly. And Carrot is a really good damage dealer that I kind of need on this team. And then the bench has got Neko Mamashi because he's quick. And I just run a bunch of other quick and Psy characters that are also slasher or shooter so that Kizaru can kind of help out there. Um, so that's the team build, and I guess we're going to go ahead and jump into some rival matches and see how it performs. So the first thing that we're going to go up against here is a relatively risky team. It's essentially all tanks. The only damage dealers on the team is literally just the Doflamingo. He's the only one that actually does like heavy damage. The rest of them are like health cutters, I'm pretty sure. What does Pika do again? I'm pretty sure he's a health cutter as well. Um, yeah, for HP 6%. Yeah, so all of them are health cutters, but you got Pika, you got Frankie, Bullet, and Capone are all really tanky. I mean, you've got Dofi himself, who's also tanky. And then in the back, they've got Shirahoshi, which might be a little bit of a sleeper character. But I'm really, really hoping that our team with health cutters and we've got fixed damage with Carrot and Kuzan. Unfortunately, Kuzan doesn't really do too much damage at level 1. He only does 800 fixed damage, but Carrot is going to be the key here. I feel like we're probably not going to have enough damage output here, but I had a look at his team team and it looks like a lot of them are around level one there's only like a couple of characters on his team that are actually leveled up in terms of using scrolls so i am kind of hopeful here but again you know a, a team like this it's relatively risky going against it, especially with capone man i've already had bad bad experiences with capone level 10 hp up from the get-go a lot of defenses oh man okay this is probably a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> in hindsight, this was probably not the best idea. But as I said, the only way that we're really going to be tanking damage is from Dofi's special and also from like normal attacks, right? So I'm just hoping that we're able to get our specials up relatively quickly so we can launch Carrot to do lots of fixed damage and uh, and Kruzan can do damage. We've got Marco who can do decent damage, but with the amount of defense and HP that they have, I don't know how effective that's realistically going to be. We've got Frankie coming in with a health cut, which is kind of good. We get a little bit of defense there, which is good. Um, Kizaru's already ready ready to go again we've got provoke coming in from pika which uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal but we're already down you know 30 seconds and not much has really changed so i'm really hoping that we can come through with our specials kuzan's ready to go now kuzan does actually debuff strength and int characters which is kind of cool i think it reduces their special charge time and maybe their attack it does something else and unfortunately carrot only attacked frankie that's actually the worst thing that could have happened dude that's so bad that is actually awful, man. Oh, man, that's a feels bad, man. Oh, Marco's coming in with a special, and he's only... Oh, dude! Oh, see, this is... We're getting really bad luck. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Well, we are definitely not going to win. We just don't have enough damage. We needed more damage on our team in order to uh, to win here. Like, really heavy fixed damage is what you need against tank teams like this. And unfortunately, this team is not really able to provide that. So there we go. A little bit of defense reduction and also charge time reduction. But again, their, their, their defense is already really high. Capone's going to come in here. And he gets defense. And he wasn't below 50%, so he's not going to heal. But already halfway through the match and... Man, not much has really changed. It doesn't look too good here. We get a really nice health cut with Frankie targeting a lot of enemies. So good. Um, Kizaru again with a special. And yeah, not too much damage coming in from him. We really need Carrot to launch another special here and target like a majority of them. Um, we've got Bullet coming in, which is fine. I mean, I don't really mind what Bullet tries to do. But like, Bullet isn't really too scary by himself. But you know, when you surround him with uh, really annoying characters, Bullet can be a little bit difficult to deal with. I'm not going to lie. You know, I can't wait till we get those characters that like reduce like driven characters, um, you know, what their, their defense and their attack with their passives. It just makes it so much easier to deal with. There, Frankie's coming through with a health cut. We really need Carrot to come in here quite clutch, but there's 30 seconds left, so it doesn't look too good here. We're just get, we're going to get stalled out. So, you know, we needed more damage on this team in order for it to actually get through, but you live and learn. We're actually targeting a lot of characters there with Carrot. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We knocked out two of them, but there's still so many characters left. How many can... Can Kizaru knock anyone out? Bullet is so close to dying. Um, Capone is still alive, and he's about to get his special back. So, yeah, it, it's GG at this point. Like, there's literally nothing we can do. So, I mean, that's just to show you guys how this team is at level 1. I mean, we've got Carrot that's relatively leveled up, but Kuzan, Marco, Frankie are not leveled up. But we just needed... Someone to do a little bit more fixed damage. Maybe like a fully leveled up Tezoro actually would be a pretty good choice for this team as well. See, even him like at max level would help out a lot, but I wouldn't suggest leveling up V2 Kuzan anyway. But like it just shows that, you know, that the tanky team or, like that this guy has, it just doesn't do any damage. It aims to try and stall you out. And that's exactly what it did. So that's super unfortunate that we couldn't get the W. But I mean, it's still really cool to show it off and see how many buffs that this, that this team actually has from the get-go is actually pretty cool. Marco coming in with a bit of damage and some heal, which is cool, but it's a little too late for us to really do anything at this point, unfortunately. Game over. Time up. So, shout out to him. He gets a free dub. It is what it is. All right, so the next team, we're going to see how this team performs against this. Now, this is actually a scary team because he's got Wipeed Frankie for health cuts, and then he's got Trafalgar Law, and he also has V1 Kuzan, who are really annoying to deal with as well. They provide, like, huge fixed damage, and, I mean, Kuzan specifically, we've already showcased him on the channel. He is insanely scary to deal with, so I really do not want him to launch his special. But look, there's four of them. There's four enemies. I don't know how this is going to go, but all I'm hoping is, is that we, uh, we're actually able to get the W. That would be huge if we're able to do that. So let's see how we go. Now, Kizaru is most definitely going to be the first character to get his special to launch. Um, the big thing here is, is if we're able to get like multiple Kizaru specials, get the Frankie special, and then get the carrot off to get the huge fix damage, that would be huge. Um, his white beard is taken. I mean, all of these characters are actually losing a lot of health very quickly, which is, you know, really good on our end. Um, his white beard and his and his Frankie are really tanky a lot of hits here. Um, unfortunately, Kizaru got knocked back, and it looks like he was unable to launch his special. So they, this is looking really bad because with Kuzan and Trafalgar Law about to launch their special, I don't like the look of this at all. This is this is actually really scary. His Kuzan is actually going to launch a special against us. So, you know, if that action binds like half our team, that's I think we we actually literally might lose. Here we here it is. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> carrot is not action binded though, so we are still able to launch the Carrot special, but his team looks relatively distributed, so I really hope that Carrot's able to hit a lot of them. Um, so Trafalgar Law is going to come through. This is going to hurt. Oh, no. Oh, carrot just stayed alive. Oh, my wordy, wordy word. Okay, Carrot, come on. We need to put you, we need to put you some work. Come on. Put in some work. There we go. That's great. So now there's only... Who's left? Kruzan and Law. So the two big damage dealers. Kruzan's going to come in with a little bit of fixed damage, but I don't think they're going to get specials up before they... Uh, I don't think they're going to get another special up against us, which is going to be good. So Kruzan is nearly going to take out Law. They're very, very weak. So we're going to get another health cut in with Frankie that's going to give us some damage reduction. I did notice that uh, Marco and, uh, and Kizaru actually both got knocked out, which is unfortunate. So Trafalgar Law coming in with a normal attack, but at this point, it's, uh, it's good game. 
and there it is. So that was really close, and that just goes to show how powerful Law and uh, and V1 Kuzan are. Those characters in particular are super scary to come up against. Like a lot of people kind of underrate that that uh, V2 Law. I don't suggest leveling him up either, but he's still a really scary character because at level one, his special is able to do 2,000 fixed damage to a medium range. So very very scary to deal with. Okay, this is going to be a super interesting team to go up against. This is a team that I would have loved to showcase on the channel, and I'm still not too sure how I want to go about it yet, but this is a free spirit crit team, which, if you guys don't know, the aim of this team is to essentially build up enough crit, and a lot of these characters that are free spirit have passives where if you land a critical attack, they boost their own attack. So they just continuously get stronger the more crits they hit. But the problem with the team is, is that... At level 1, their crit chance is so low that it's really RNG. If you get really, really lucky and continuously increase your attack, you can actually dominate characters. Like, you can deal over two, three, four thousand 4,000 damage just with normal attacks if you level it up high enough, which is the scary thing about the Free Spirit crit team. But again, as I said, it is RNG at the end of the day, so if you don't get enough crits then uh, your, your team won't have enough attack, and then overall, it's just not going to be that good. And then once they do raise their attack, you know, to level 20 or level 30, when they launch their special, which is a multiplier times their attack plus the levels of attack, it does so much damage. So it's really scary, honestly. Um, but what do we got right now? We already KO'd Luffy Zoro, so I'm feeling pretty good. Sabu Koala, I did notice on their team, was actually relatively leveled up, and they actually are able to do a pretty good amount of damage to our team. So I really hope that they don't do too much. I have no idea what this guy does. Defense down, guard rate down, and some damage as well. Okay, that's kind of scary but I mean they didn't really do that much damage we've got relatively good tankiness here so Sabu and Koala coming through with some damage but it actually wasn't that much so that's kind of good for us here I think we're looking pretty good I have no idea what Usohachi does defense down as well so lots of debuff actually that's pretty that's a pretty good idea with free spirit crit team to bring some debuffers to reduce their defense that actually makes perfect sense but Marco coming in with a heal we're looking really good right now I don't think we're going to be losing it from here Kizaru coming in again and we do have Carrot Special ready to go as well, who's going to come in hitting like a truck. I love Carrot in, in Pirate Rumble. She's so good. we got uh, Boa coming in, who does 1,100 fixed damage at level 1. And then she increases crit rate, I think it was. So I didn't actually see what it, what, what it was. But either way, still pretty scary. Some damage coming through. we got some defense down as well and some charge rate down. Um, Carrot is about to launch her special. So here she goes. Nice. There we go. So we're about to get this. Oh, we, it's only been half the match. Okay, that was a pretty pretty clean win. And this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, Free Spirit Crit Team is good once it's leveled up. But at level 1, no, I wouldn't really suggest going for it. it it's, it's just not a super amazing team. But unfortunately for him... Uh, we did take the W. I did check his team before we fought it, and there were lots of his characters that were at, like, level 1, which, you know, Free Spirit Crew Team at level 1, it, typically it's going to be an easy W. But there we go, showcasing the, uh, the Quick Inside team, which... It's not super amazing in terms of global meta right now. I really want to make sure that I'm not going up against the, the main slasher team because the slasher team is just ridiculous in terms of what it's able to do against you. It's just extremely frightening. So I mainly want to stay away from those types of teams, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, utilizing some characters that you may not see in Pirate Rumble too often, with Marco, V2 Kuzan, who has the ability to debuff strength and int characters, which is interesting, and then Frankie's got some pretty nice tankiness, health cut, defense boosting, and then alongside with Kizaru and Carrot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.